Well, science and innovation can genuinely alleviate uh, poverty. Uh, vaccines have eradicated smallpox, um, the Green Revolution uh, averted famine in Asia, and more recently uh, investments in innovation have lifted millions of people out of poverty in countries like China. At the same time, blind faith in science and innovation have led us down many dangerous paths in the past. Uh, for example, the uh, collapse of the Indus River civilization due to over-irrigation over 5,000 years ago to uh, application of DDT in the 1950s. And most recently, um, technological forces, of course, have uh, left, left us terribly vulnerable to climate change and food, water, and energy, shor gen food, water, and energy shortages. Uh, and while these problems affect everyone, um, it is marginalized people in low-income countries which are the most vulnerable. Well, I don't want to diminish the severity of these challenges or suggest that science alone can solve these problems without important improvements in education and governance. But it's a terribly exciting time to be a scientist. Uh, the prospect of drought-resistant crops uh, to help feed the world's poor, uh, nanotechnology which can dramatically reduce the cost of producing drinking water, and the prospects for open collaborative science um, could uh, massively uh, accelerate advances. Recently, online gamers solved the structure for an enzyme um, in an HIV-like virus in less than three weeks, something which had stumped scientists for over a decade. I would suggest three principles. Uh, first, um, to help build local scientific capacity. Take uh, the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences, which Canada is helping fund. Daphne Singo, uh, the daughter of an impoverished uh, domestic worker in South Africa, has now completed her doctorate in quantum uh, physics and wants to help solve South Africa's energy crisis. Second, science needs to be collaborative. Um, these problems cross borders uh, and uh, are simply too large and complex for any one country uh, to address on their own. So, for example, uh, Ji Hong Wu, who's an internationally renowned mathematician at York University, is working with Yiming Xiao, the chief scientist for the Center for Disease Control in Beijing, um, to uh, control the spread of diseases like HIV and avian influenza. Uh, and third, uh, science needs to be interdisciplinary and inclusive. Uh, so the most sustainable and equitable societies are those where the social sciences, along with the natural and applied sciences, are strong. Uh, social sciences help us ask hard questions about um, the direction of science investments, about benefits and risks, and who wins and who loses.